Well, today, friends, I'm going to be spending some time in my kitchen. And first off, though, I got to get my time outside enjoying my cottage flower garden, getting my curtains open in my kitchen, and just enjoying the sunrise as it comes up. And of course, then enjoying my Americano that my husband makes with a splash of heavy cream. So it's going to be a busy day in the kitchen, and I got my little ones to help me with some snacks, going to make a couple meals, and just bring you along on this day, and also beautifying the kitchen a little bit with some fresh cut flowers. So I'm donning my apron, and yes, I am still pregnant. I am overdue, and you're seeing this video, but so goes life. I was late with my other two, and that's just what it is. So... I'm getting my sourdough starter prepped because I will need that later for tonight to make a turkey pot pie with some sourdough biscuits on top. So that's just what you do in the kitchen. You prep things so that you can get other the um, food, meals, snacks going. All right, this is one that my kiddos love and I haven't made in a while, my banana cookies. So it's just mashed bananas some oats. I add some raisins and of course they're snacking on those too. You can add nut butter if you want. You don't have to and literally you just mix it together and as you can tell the little ones can help with that easily too and put it on a baking sheet. Bake it like 375 for 10 to 12 minutes and they're so delicious and easy and pretty nutritious. definitely kid approved and tested so on to the next thing which is making egg salad for lunch the eggs are definitely in season those farm fresh eggs and so I love making hard-boiled eggs or egg salad for my family and one trick I have for peeling them is to keep them a little bit warm still the peels come off the shells come off so easily and this is one time I will use a kitchen gadget. I really like my egg slicer. Um, I don't use much for other kitchen gadgets, but it just saves some time on cutting with a knife. So for my egg salad, it's kind of spring inspired. I use avocado mayo, just some mustard. Sometimes I'll use spicy mustard, salt, lemon pepper, and then using some of those fresh chives you saw in my garden earlier. And literally that's about it. Um, I have added celery seed, garlic salt. There's lots of additions you can add to it. You could add celery. Um, it's just fun to experiment with different tastes and seasonings. All right, time to go pick some fresh rhubarb. It is rhubarb season and it is prominent. And so we're in a bag full of rhubarb. Thankful for neighbors we can head over to and pick from their rhubarb patch. And so I'm gonna be making a rhubarb coffee cake. And it's something you can have for dessert or you can have for breakfast. And so we've had it for both, honestly. And while I am getting the leaves off because they are poisonous you don't want to eat those my girls are playing playing with bubbles and just enjoying the outdoors so I just dice I think it calls for two cups for this recipe but of course I'm going to cut it all up and then refrigerate what I don't use I made a really great strawberry rhubarb jam the other day. I made a, a strawberry rhubarb crisp. So I just use the extra in whatever else I wanna make. And then I add some sugar to the pot, some yogurt, a cup of my homemade Greek yogurt from our raw milk. And then I added eggs, some oil, whether coconut oil or butter mix all that together and then you add in your flour and i'm using an einkorn flour jovial's einkorn flour i really love that buttery richness that it adds and the nutrition factor and then i'm going to mix that and add in the rhubarb and of course littles are there to help too and i think i added a little extra rhubarb just because i had it there
right, that goes in a 9 by 13, and then I sprinkled a crumb topping on. The butter is a little chunky here, but that's okay. And some more rhubarb on top to sprinkle that in, and then just mix it all together and bake it. I think it was 375 for 30 to 40 minutes. Any recipe that is not my own, I will link where I got that from, but it is such a delicious cake. So that was prepped, and then we're waiting to make that. All right, it is time to enjoy beautifying the kitchen a little bit, cutting the last of my tulips and a few other flowers, um, using some of the chives because they have those little purple heads. They're just so beautiful. And making a little arrangement because lilac season is over already and it just came and went and my table needed some freshening up. So Nevea helped me pick some there. I'm just putting them in a mason jar and going to toss out the lilacs and beautify the table with whatever flowers we have. I think I even have some Russian sage in there. It looks a little wilty now, but by supper time, it has perked up and is just really nice smelling. So just adding a little beauty to the kitchen while I'm working in there. <laughs> All right, we already enjoyed our egg salad. We had nap time and now it is time to make the biscuits for the turkey pot pie. And this is one I've shared before. It's from venison for dinner with heavy cream. All right, so my turkey pot pie was, I didn't share what I put in there, but I just kind of made it up. It's got turkey in it because I cooked a whole turkey and used that up. And then two bags of frozen mixed veggies. I used some fresh mushrooms sauteed in a fresh onion some garlic salt pepper just season it well and then some of those fresh herbs like rosemary and parsley from the garden whatever you want to add and so i put one in my pie dish and then put the biscuits on top and then i was able to freeze a bag for postpartum to have a turkey mix that i um, a turkey pot pie mix that i can just pull out and whip up the biscuit dough or my husband could whip that up. I just thought why not do a double batch to make it a little bit easier. So I didn't really have measurements. I just went for it and made it with what I had. Of course I added some um, milk into the mixture as well to thicken it and some flour. So that was delicious and hearty and something my family loved and something that will work well after baby comes too. I don't think meals have to be extravagant. Like I said, I used frozen vegetables and just a biscuit top. I didn't slave over a pie crust top because I knew I needed something a little bit easier as I'd been in the kitchen all day and needed time with my girls outside. So there is the supper and here is the rhubarb coffee cake. Just a delicious way to end the night. It was really good with some date lady syrup over it but that is what we enjoyed and i hope you enjoyed the time in the kitchen that we had today just doing a few snacks some meals and just knowing that simple is okay and it doesn't have to always be fancy mm -hmm.